US ba o United Kingdom? We are using already rewire for almost two years. My name is Sandra. My name is John. We both decided to, to invest a house in the Philippines. But, uh, we have to send money or remit money and uh, we chose for rewire. We chose rewire because uh, first and for foremost about with the uh, charge, uh, it's quite low. I can recommend rewire because it's safe. I will always recommend it to my friends. Mga minamahal kong kababayan, inirerekomenda ko ang Rewire app tuwing magpabadala tayo ng pera sa minamahal natin sa Pinas. Hello, my name is George here. Welcome to our channel. And today we have a very special guest. My name is Lou Angelo, so people know me Lou. Um, I I was a UK nurse, so I worked in the UK for seven years and seven months, and now I am currently living and working here in the United States. Dito sa New Hampshire. Easier, I guess, to let her know what's happening. So I made the decision to leave because. Una sa lahat bata pa lang ako, 33 pa lang ako, siguro sa ibang tanda na yun. But I would like to think I'm still young. And um, I made a decision to move dahil um, I want to look back five years from now na masasabi ko sa sarili ko na I, I did it, I made it, and um, wala akong pagsisisihan. And of course, syempre, it's for opportunity reasons then. Man knows best. Workload-wise, mas masasabi ko na medyo magaan ng konti ngayon kung saan ako nag-work although the ratio is still the same kasi where I used to work is like 1 is to 4, 1 is to 3, or 1 is to 2. Dito is ganun parang ang maximum is 1 is 4. You can do 1 is to 4. And um, malaki sa kanila, big part talaga sa kanila ang, ano, ang medical records. I mean yung electronic medical records, yung EMR. So charting and everything are done through computers. Um, dati kasi sa pinagkakabawon ko, it's all about paper charting and everything. So, mas madali, mas efficient yung yung documentation, charting, lahat ng orders ng doctor and everything. Train, yung training ko at yung experience ko sa UK, I, ma, I must say, ang laki ng tulong kasi he, sobrang magaan at sobrang smooth yung transition ko dito. Man knows best. Um, pero all in all, culturally, very different. I mean, um, mas masasabi ko na ang workmates mo na Amerikano mas outspoken um, in terms of kung ano yung gusto nila or if there's, if there's something that they don't really want, um, talagang sasabihin nila. Kasi what I have noticed sometimes sa mga ka kawork mo na British, eh, they can be passive aggressive sometimes. <laughs> Hindi nila masasabi yung gusto nilang sabihin, pero once the person leaves, parang ano ba yan, bakit ako na-allocate dito, ganun. Man knows best. Kasi, I'll be honest, my health insurance. So, you pay part of part of your salary na de-deduct yung health insurance as mo o yung kung ano man ang gusto mo pang kunin, kung meron ka pang life insurance or whatever. Um, people will say nung nandun ako sa NH, nung, when I was working for NHS, libre naman, garan garan Pero I will say, hindi naman talaga libre ang healthcare kung, kung talagang kung talagang titignan mo eh. Hindi naman libre. Of course, when you go, if, of course, when you go into um, A&E sa, sa um, London or sa UK, wala naman magkasabi, cash or credit. Wala naman mag-asa yun. Pero come to think of it, parang part of your salary goes to your national insurance or to your taxes, which covers your NHS. So parang ganun din lang, parang same-same lang kasi nagbabayad ka ng NHS through your tax. Uh, dito naman is nagbabayad ka ng insurance mo through your salary. So parang ganun din lang, Binab parang, parang ang pagkakaiba lang is yung pagbabayad mo ng health insurance mo sa NHS is yung parang yung health insurance mo dito sa US. Parang... But the way I see it. Kasi binabayaran mo pa rin at the end of the day. Yun nga lang. Wala sila kasi social, social healthcare dito. 
kasi it's not a it's not a thing for them hindi siya popular na um idea or notion ba sa kanila i think one of the benefits is the training you receive over time yun yung yun yung mga yun yung isa sa mga bagay na made me more attracted to go to this country kasi yung training kasi gustong gusto ko yung training i mean like i'll be honest um new certification and everything talagang maganda nga naman kasi um they they most of although most of the hospitals sometimes they don't really see into it pero so, pag mayroon ka kasi certification dito it adds up to your pay um tapos yung experience may overtime na ano nila na na um ano yun kinaka-count in nila kasi di ba sa minsan sometimes i think sa NHS work cap kasi relevant six ka. Tapos kung na-reach na yung ceiling and that's it. Ganda sa pinagtatrabahuan ko ngayon is talagang ano sila yung intent nila na mag mag ano ka, mag, mag, mag maging more trained ka, maggumaling ka in terms of your knowledge and skills. Like it push ka nila. Yun yung isa sa mga benefit na nanalo ko. This is a personal benefit not for everyone kasi iba-ibang hospitals. Man knows best. May mga sign-in bonuses kasi eh. Y- yung pagpasok mo, meron kang either 10,000 or 20,000 na sign-in bonus na ibibigay sa iyo agad. To be honest, so kung ano yung sinasweldo ko ngayon, kasi nagsisimula pa lang ako sa US, is hindi naman ka nung kalakihan. Um, pero, when, kinakumpare ko kasi, ki, when I when I got my paycheck for the whole month, kasi dito ang sweldo is bi-weekly. So every two weeks ka sumisweldo. Unlike sa atin na um, every month tayo nakaka-receive ng salary. So, um, pag ikaw compare ko in a, in a month, medyo malaki nga. <laughs> Sinisold ako. Kahit na sinasabi na halos na mga kaibigan ko na medyo malit pa yung rate. So, pumasok ko dito as um, a staffing agency. So, obviously, if you work with an agency who puts the staff in the facility or in the hospital, of course, may cut sila. So, hindi ko na, hindi ko na ibubul sa yung buong sweldo ko. Malit siya compared sa usual na sweldo ng isang permanent staff nurse or traveler nurse. Traveler meaning yung parang agency nurses nila. Well, they, they earn way more money than I do. Pero, I must say, medyo malaki yung sweldo ko pa rin ngayon compared to, um, compared to how, how much I earn back in the UK. Kasi, I live here in New Hampshire. New Hampshire is like is in New England dito sa US. So it's one of like um one of the most expensive places to live in. So the way I see it is dito na na afford ko tong one bedroom flat ko at meron pa akong sasakyan na binabayaran ko every month. So sa 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 sweat sa ano sa that you receive ko every month pagka buy ko ng bills and everything i still get, i still get a decent amount mahirap kasi mag-compare ng sweldo with my situation and other people's situation kasi ako hindi ako pamilyado single ako and some people have so para sa single na tulad ko yung sweldo ko ngayon isa pa pero siguro para sa ibang tao na makaka-receive ng sweldo na meron ako ngayon, it might not be enough for them because they have family, they have cho- they have children and you know, at saka kanya-kanya kasi ang state, may mas- may mga state na mas mura ang pag ang life ang life um ma- like here dito hindi hindi ganoon kamura. Pero wala akong wala akong income tax, sino yung maganda. So <laughs> So, yung sweldo ko, hindi natataxan. Ang tax lang na binabayaran ko sa gobyerno is, I think, state tax. Wala akong, or state or federal tax, if I'm not mistaken. Man knows best. Ako nasa, so three months pa lang ako dito, nasa stage pa rin ako ng um, pag, ano, pag-adjust. Um, wala naman akong regrets, pero marami akong nami-miss. So I don't I am not living in a city at the moment. Nami-miss ko ang life in the city. I don't know. Siguro sabi isip ng mga tao na pa crazy ko siguro. Pero nami-miss ko yung I love yung yung hustle and bustle ng city, yung yung pagiging crowded ng mga lugar dito just ko halos pupunta ka sa mga ano nila sa 
wala kasing mall dito pero pupunta ka siguro sa mga um, grocery mag grocery shopping ka or ano parang hindi masyadong matao although which is ang, 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 ang gusto ko lang dito is tahimik ng buhay um, which is nakakapanibago para sa akin tapos people um, love to take their time talaga so they they um, chill lang sila pero nung namimiss ko most special is yung life in the city and most of all yung mga kaibigan ko Um, I have met a few Filipinos here and they're all welcoming, very caring. Talagang nung mga first few weeks dito, anong kailangan mo? Talagang alam, alagang-alagan naman nila ako. Wala naman akong masasabi. But um, wala naman akong regrets. Um, although I must say, mahirap minsan sa work kasi sa emergency department kung saan ako nagtatrabaho, apat lang kami na Pilipino. Halos lahat Amerikano ang katrabaho namin. At minsan sa isang shift, either kung, may kas- kasama, kung kasama ko man yung ibang mga Pilipino, magkakahiwalay kami. Tapos, syempre, focus ka lang sa area mo. Hindi ka naman nakakapunta sa doon para makipagkwentuhan kasi ayaw mo naman masita. Or most of the time, ikaw lang ang Pilipino sa sa shift na yon So parang, in a way, parang alienating, parang ganyan yung feeling mo kasi parang ikaw yung kakaiba yun yung term ko parang ako nang kakaiba dito at iba yung iba yung accent mo iba yung yung itsura mo and everything but my friends say that you're all you're I, my friends say and I always say my, I always say to myself na parang I'm there for a special and great purpose yun na lang yung inaano ko na um, there's a reason kung kung, kung, kung nasan ako ngayon um, although sometimes pag ikaw yung talagang mag-isa parang feeling mo out of place ka now home set ko I think which is just um Uh, a normal reaction to you know, to such things. Always remember, Manong knows. Manong knows best that you always do rest when staying in the United Kingdom.